This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Well, this is it. SolidWorks has officially raised the curtain on the next release, 2011. I've had a chance to take a look at the beta code for a couple of weeks, so I'd like to give you a quick tour. This release comes with a new operation called D Feature. This is the one that lets you remove certain internal elements or features that you manually select yourself to remove from the assembly. Now this is something that you might do to pass along a model so that your partner or supplier can test fitting and take measurement but it'll also prevent them from reverse engineering your design. So here's an assembly in progressive cross-sectional view to show you what's inside. Now with D feature you can simply ask SolidWorks to remove all the internal components or you can also select specific items that you would like to remove. You can also say select all the holes and keep them to exclude them from the defeaturing operation. Now take a look at this. Here's a comparison of the original assembly and the defeatured one. Once you feel that you have removed enough details, you can save the result as a part file, not the assembly file, even though the original file is the assembly file. Anyway, you save that as a part file, and that is what you sent to the other party. The other performance improvement comes from how SolidWorks treats wellments in this new release. This is something you'll feel more than you can actually see. Here, I'm using a virtual pencil to mark up the edges I want welded. I should tell you that this is not actually a 3D solid geometry. Well, not yet anyway. This is merely a graphical display, so that saves a lot of number crunching on your CPU for regenerating the geometry, and that'll help you work a lot faster. Some of the operations that you used to have to do in the part level, you'll be able to do it right here in the assembly mode now. Suppose I'd like to trim these two adjacent faces at an angle to create chamfered corners, then weld them together. I don't need to go back to to the part level and get out of the assembly mode to do that. I can just insert the features I want, chamfers in this case, as assembly features. Then to weld them together I'll do something similar. I'll insert weld bead, specify the size and the character of the weld type, then let the software generate it for me. If you tend to be kind of messy with your dimensions, you know, you place them all over the place, then hope that they'll somehow align themselves in a decent fashion. But you can actually now use the automatic alignment to make that happen. In this release, there is a new Extrude 3D Surface function to project your 3D surfaces onto a desired plane that gives you an easy way to create extended profiles that perfectly match complex shapes.
Ever wonder how you might give your client a tour inside your assembly? Well, with version 2011 walkthrough feature, you can literally make yourself about 10 millimeter tall, or short, you might say, then navigate your way through an assembly and capture what you see from that perspective as a movie file that you can send to your client. This is particularly handy if you're a plant manager and need to show off your facility want to get a rough idea of what it would be like to take a virtual tour of your heavy machineries. These are the new features that I can test out and show it to you in the 2011 release beta code for SolidWorks Premium. I'll be taking a closer look at these and many other features. So stay tuned. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong walking through SolidWorks 2011 for his orientation.